Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 30th, I believe. Yep, 30 March, towards the end of the month here. A funny old open start to the day. Um, what happened, right? So we had a lot of bad news going into the weekend. Bad leadership, bad everything. Equities opened 60 handles lower, traded down to 2445, uh, and then zipped higher, boom, um, up to 2542 now. Been a lot of, a lot of um, sort of subsidies that have come out. Australia's ASX 200 closes 7% higher. Um, the government's going to give people money direct, so that was positive. And I think the positive reaction from that boosted the entire global stock market, plus month-end flows, uh, mainly because it looks pretty simple now. There's like a simple solution. Uh, I'm not saying it's the correct solution, but there's a simple solution now. Just give the population money to live for three months, and hopefully this will all be over. And so I think there's a hope in the market that people are going to follow suit on this. There are loads of problems uh, with this, uh, which has nothing to do with actually giving people money. Uh, I don't want to get into now, but suffice it to say, I'm fairly skeptical on this being a long-term solution. But for now, uh, it's holding the dam steady, which is which is fine. Uh, it is what it is. Let's take a look at currencies off their uh, crazy town highs. Uh, obviously, the dollar bear tsunami is, uh, or avalanche, or tidal wave, or however you want to describe it, is, is, is kind of just getting started here. Um, but we do have this month-end flows and general weirdness at the end of the month, so just be careful of this. I have no idea whether these flows are going to come to fruition or not. They've kind of fucked me up in my head a little bit end of last week I should have been short a lot more dollars than I was um, waiting for these flows uh, who knows you know be careful today at the fix be careful tonight at the quarter end Tokyo fix uh, there's equity rebalancing bonds need to be sell, sold stocks need to be bought um, for all the 60 40 portfolios so there's just a lot of weirdness going on in, in the next two days. Um, but I don't really have any intel on it. I just know the rumors are out there that this may happen. So I'm just saying be careful. What to do with that? I, I want to just fade it, right? So I want to try and buy some euros somewhere. Um, 109.50 looks cheap. I thought that I thought we might be trying to get these at 108.50. Um, Anywhere between 110 and 109, we're going to try and pick up some euros, get short some dollars. UK was downgraded. Market kind of shrugged it off. We actually opened where we closed last night, early doors. I think it was 123.90 given, then it was 10 paid, 20 paid, 30 paid, 40 paid in the pre-market sort of bullshit zone. Uh, now we're 124, the figure, pretty meaningless. Um, not much to do with this very stretched don't really feel like selling it don't really feel like buying it so we just leave it alone dollar swiss is our go-to here um anything on the 96 handle we sell this week dollar yen we're we're worried about the tokyo fix we did trade down to 107.12 bang wow uh, but we do have the tokyo fix in about 24 hours time and we do have the GPIF buying billions and billions and billions and trillions and whatever of foreign bonds and dollars and whatever they're doing um, 
So this makes dollar yen a little bit more tricky. Saw the downgrade of dollars are traded up to 18 traded last night in the pre-market. Didn't show it doesn't show here, but you know, Rand is fucked. We've been talking about how screwed Rand is for so long. It's actually just boring now. Um, hopelessly screwed. This currency is going to go a lot lower. Uh, I feel for um, the population there. There's going to be terrible inflation and. Ay ay ay. Doomed. Aussie, we're sellers here between sort of 62 and 63. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to see the 62 handle again, but if we do, we're sellers of Aussie up here. Uh, we just think as a risk barometer, this is going to come back down because uh, we're worried about global risk. They're talking about sort of 10%. GDP contraction in Australia. Euro Aussie, we don't really care too much. Dollar CAD. Tricky on Friday, right? But then it collapsed after the fix into the into the twilight zone. This, like all the other charts, very stretched. Tricky, right? Because oil is like kissing twenty bucks right now. Canadian economy looks like it's in a fair bit of trouble. Not really sure what to do with this. Uh, this is one we won't be fading. We won't be selling rallies in, in dollar CAD. There are better places to be short dollars. And if you think oil is going to bounce back, we talked about it last week. We'll talk about it again. Dollar Norway is your go to. I mean, it's 10% lower from where it was last week, but. Fading dollar Norway looks much more interesting than fading dollar CAD, uh, mainly because the Norwegian sovereign wealth fund is a good anchor, um, and it's just easier to manage uh, than Canada. The Norwegian economy is easier to manage than the Canadian economy. Gold, so illiquid, so hard. But eventually, it's going to break 1700. Is it going to trade 1550 first? Could do. It's a wild animal now. You know, 50 contracts moves the thing 10 bucks. So, quite dicey gold. Uh, traded up to 74 last night on the sort of fear, on the fear side of things. Now it's sort of settling back at 40. On Friday, we said, oh, man, <clears throat> gold looks trapped. They're going to screw all of these longs below uh, 1610. Dead wrong there, right? 1611 was the low twice. Bang, bang, bang. Um, that's probably a break trade there if you're just tactically uh, sniping, sniping levels. There will be stops below uh, 1600. But I mean, how do you break trade any size in gold? And how do you control your slippage? It's, uh, it's not easy. Spoos uh, should be more buying today at the close. Could be a lot of buying. Uh, but the mood is somber. The leadership is absent. Um, just looks to me like the United States is not facing facts here and doesn't understand the principle of, of, of doubling. For those of you who play backgammon, the doubling cube comes to mind, right? You can get yourself in a lot of trouble uh, with the doubling cube. Um, so I'm worried and I'm a bear on stocks. Obviously, the ideal place to sell this is on the 2700 handle between 2700 and 2800. Will we see that? Seems seems highly unlikely, but but maybe. Uh, but right here at 2550, we're square on the tactical book. Um, tiny shorts on the uh, medium term book, but nothing really to speak of. Just tiny tiny stuff, like sort of balances. Uh, looking to reload between 2700 and 2800.
Dollar Max fell on this dollar selling, coming back higher. Not really sure what to do with Max. Uh, pretty sure they're screwed. And I'm very worried about EM. Uh, this, this isn't the time yet to dive into the EM structures. The time is to try and find something solid. You know, the, the, the question you have to answer right now is what is there solid out there that I can sell a dollar against? Not flimsy shit, solid stuff. So, you know, czar, flimsy, ruble, flimsy, mex. Sorry, guys, pretty flimsy. Gold looks important. Euro, just because of the size. It's not like the euro is like the most robust, amazing place to put your money, but it's not flimsy, right? Uh, and of course, the Swiss franc, which is the least flimsy currency in the world. Um, these are the currencies you want to own. You want to be short dollars. Finally, CAD yen. Uh, talked about this this is oil trade basically and a risk off trade and we got given some last night at 66 we'll be reselling these uh, between figure and 50 77 figure and 50 just tactically trading this it's a risk off it's a slower lower vol risk off oil trade basically uh, but you do have to recognize post fix on Friday we traded mysteriously up to 77.50 I mean everyone's like what the hell is that the Canada just announced QE cut rates uh, but that's just the market stopping out right so you gotta you gotta be able to wear some some volatility on these trades um, which is why we picked some up last night there was really no reason to buy any except for the fact that if you know vols coming you just have to be careful Anyway, short CAD yen uh, looks okay. All right, I've said enough. Uh, good luck today. I'm trying to figure out a way to safely sell some dollars here. Um, watch out for the fixes today, and uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.